After the Battle of Freeman's Farm, September 19th, 1777. Commander Burgoy. I've waited for Gates to split his army because I was supporting attack from New York. After my tactical victory at Freeman's Farm, that is. But he's too stubborn to do it. I'm gonna have to call a stupid war council. I hate stupid war council. Duh. My elders of the war council. I need your advice as what I should do to kill that patriot leader Horatio Gates. Even though we defeated him at the Battle of Freeman's Farm. Even, even though uh, a lot of our troops died. I don't care about them. I just need to know how to win now. Well, sir, we are not exactly sure how we are going to go about winning this, but we suggest that uh, since the Patriots have been um, increasing in number that we should retreat to Canada. What are you talking about? We can't retreat. I want to kill that fool once and for all. And then I will get praised before the king. Why would I retreat to Canada? You fools, I'm just going to attack him no matter what you say. You fools can run off to Canada. I don't need you anyways. Go away. A British bunker viewing the Patriot encampment. Hey, dude, how do you think we're going to win this? Why do you think Burgoyne thinks that we can win this so easily? I mean, look at the amount of Patriots. I don't think it's fair. He makes us fight without even caring about us. I know how you feel, man. It's definitely unfair. Hey, you imbeciles. You should be back in your quarters. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, sir, but we're just taking orders. We took orders from the elders, and they told us to view the paper encampment. Yeah, they're trying to incite mutiny on me. Duh. Oh, well. Imbeciles. Time to punch through the American left wing so that we can get to Albany and hopefully find some of our fellow British troops who remain. Little did he know that General Clinton's attack from New York had never reached Albany. The guy behind Burgoyne's back. Does the commander even realize that we are all in very poor condition? He treats us like we could run a mile in under five minutes or something. I know, man. That's how I feel sometimes. I can't run very far at all. Hey, you fools, what are you doing talking? Don't mumble. Go to the left flank of the Patriot forces like I told you to earlier. Or I'll have you hanged. Stupid. What are you doing? Go already! The British troops, trying to obey Burgoyne's questionable orders, Man, you really think that they're not going to see us? Man, I don't know. I just follow orders. And I also don't see any of our British troops at all. I mean, we've gotten pretty far across to the Patriot lines, but uh, I would think that we'd see some forces from Albany if, we, if there were any. Man, just shut up and stay quiet. They're going to hear us. Patriot side. Patriot scout and General Gates. Man, they really think us stupid or something? I mean... They're just standing there, really obviously, and uh, I don't really know what to do. General Gates, I think you can see them too. My binoculars don't really prove a point right now, but uh, what should we do? I know what we should do. General Poor, go find Morgan's group and make sure that you kill all those fools. I can explode on them too. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no, the Patriots have spotted us. Ready to fight, men. What? 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 Ah, uh -huh. sir, they've whittled us down little by little. They really thought we wouldn't see them? After the British retreat to Freeman's farm, Benedict Arnold, though he had been demoted by Gates, leads a contingent of Patriot troops. Quick, man, attack from the right! No, no. I don't like to surrender. Oh well, this battle must end in surrender. We give in.